hello guys welcome to another blender tutorial today we are adding eyes to our character if you notice we haven't added eyes and it is essential before we proceed because if you are going to animate this character we need to animate it together with the eyes so now what i'm going to do is remove the weight paint that i've added to our character if you remember we did weight painting after rigging our character let's get started so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the mesh and i'm going to press alt p and then i'm going to choose clear print so if you click on the bone and you move around you could see say you know fits move up so i could go to modeling if i go to modeling my screen will be split into two like it is here i'm so so if you come to viewport here okay sorry come to the outline and you can fit click this eye to hide the bone because i won't hide the bone entirely go to edit mode and then you know select you can select the vertices where you see for the highs by clicking double clicking between two vertices and then you can start to the extrude backwards like so so from here i will go to solid view so that we could see the effect of what we did do for wireframe in the right hand window and um, you know the left hand window too could help us see the effect we will do of what we did do in the front view so i will start to the scale as i the extrude because what i want to be seeing i want to create a ball socket something like that we will see we go day inside the head now from this place we go place the high the highs of our character so i'm going to continue to the extrude backwards and i got to scale in the z axis i could keep extruding i got to scale so what i go do now is to scale extrude in the z axis and now what i go do we say i go extrude in y axis to make this extrusion flat so i go select the previous one i go scale them in the y axis again I go select the previous and i go do this process to all the vertices we had done extrude before just to give us a you know a, a rhyme extrusion so i go i go look at what i did do for the left and window like so to see the result of what i did do so now okay okay I so let's continue by you know, going to front view from here and then i could select the last you know ring of vertices and then the thing i could do i could select each ring where i don't create the last ah the, you know see this is done they closed now the thing i do we say i just press if you select all this you fit smooth all this so what i do for this last one we say if you select everything if you press f3 and choose and search grill fill so if you search grill fill you and press enter to select that option so now i go add one edge loop cut around here so that I go fit in this place two day sharp so i won't try to smoothen this place out a bit like so so i go press g for uh proportional editing to to change the influence of the proportional editing by now if i don't know where we they choose where, where we they turn the proportional editing on and off so it has the look too small so i go press ctrl z to escape which I did try to be say I won't try at the CC this place day too sharp so I did try smoothing this place out so I could turn off the proportional editing and try something else until I get desired results where I want so now like that I could continue to the edit to the smoothing out things I uh, tell you see I won't create a socket for the highs and at the socket with this the reason why we create this socket we see even when we create the eyes and we they look at the character from every angle you're not going to see the inside of the skull you know if you don't close this up now if you not close them and we put eyes and by chance maybe the eyes you no know, no no cover up very well 
go they see the empty skull so now waiting at the try avoid be that so now as you can see i don't smoothen out this place a bit we will say in a day too sharp anymore so okay at the results where they try to acquire with that so now if you look at um, the wire frame mode in the right hand side you will see the ball where we just create to the inside of the head of our character so now what i go do we say i go create another collection and then i go add a uv sphere and then i go change the segments to eight and then leave the ring at 16. so what we they do we say we want to create eyes so uh i don't create another connection and i name my eyes if you look at my atlanta you can see him and then now from inside this collection i go build this eye so as i don't add the ring now i go press r and then y to you know and 90 degree to make it the face the camera like so so now you can see the angles with the day our high so you go to subdivision modifier and then from viewport say if you change them to two or one so i could change them to one again because if you slow our progress down but since render don't do two there's no problem when you render out this animation you could do smooth with the value where you put for render so i go count to three and add it look cuts at the back of the third uh, ring of vertices and then i could add another one before it so i could press the center i could change this to vertex mode you press the vertex in the middle and i go press uh, uh, control and plus to add even more um to to add more selection but before i go i could duplicate this high now i go column i inner you see i don't duplicate and then i scale out a little bit so the one where i create now is bigger than the one where i create before you go name the inner one i inner and then the outer one you can name i outer because now like that my eyes be so what you go do we say you go select but i don't press control and select uh, like three to four rings your face killer in uh, y axis like so to give you what you to see so and you can feel the smoothing things out by sliding your edges and then changing some settings like i do so so you go select all these faces now and press e to extrude then you go move backward you go add edge loop cut here and move on forward to give that edge a a sharp edge okay you go fit press ctrl b to add bevel to this edge now and then you go fit move this um, um ring of uh vertices if it's move and come out like so you can see see the edge here down the taste mode so i go select i go go to face selection mode and i go select all these faces and if i go to side view change this to wireframe i will go you know move this backward a bit press e again to extrude one more time so if I go back to solid view, I press Z, you see, see, we don't get um, a desired shape. So I go fit move this thing back a little bit, but I think it is all right as it is, like so. So now I go change back to solid view, and then I will go back to I go exit editing mode. Once I see, say, I don't okay, but like, say, I go. We'll try to scale this rank of edges down to we'll scale and down like so so after scaling i think that the final step it is so if i go to side view to see what we get okay so i could turn on the uh, eye out in i could turn on the eye inner and then turn on the eye out time 
So make sure see na the eye out that way you did here you select so now from here I go scale up a bit I go hold shift so that the scale no go get too big I go make sure see this uh UV sphere they bigger than the one with the inside so if I press Z now go to see the one with the inside so the same selection will be select for the eye inner now here we go select for the eye outer so this time around the selection where you select go move on forward like so on the y axis after you don't move on now the end be that so you can fit smoothing some things out for here as well so if i select that point i can fit move on forward a bit to see maybe i go like the result or not so modeling takes you know practice before you go fit the get artists the day so i just select all these ones and then i just scale them down to give me a desired result Okay, I kept you know adjusting this add uh to give him something I want. So I go add this two now and then okay, stand it back on and if I turn this body back boy select both eye inner and eye outer then i press ctrl j i go feel select the two together and scale the two together and go feel margin with ctrl j so after i don't match the two or after i don't select the two in the path liner you fit the aligner perfectly to the sockets or support or whatever you want to call this space of your character now where i don't add where i don't join the two uh, meshes together it is easy for me to change the location and put on a position of the high so i could just move in various direction until I get the perfect direction, until I get the perfect position where I want. So this thing could fit take a little bit of time, but if you look for quality result, you can spend that time. If you look for shortcuts, I'm afraid you're not going to see because I shortcut the for 3D animation. So after I don't play some any variable I like, the vertices around I could select them with my professional editing tool on. I will start to select vertices where I see, see it needs adjustment. Anyone where I think see a few more bang go forward we could turn on. No one where I think see a backward could make sense we go to that one. So I just will try manage to see how I will fit make this to better the, the placement of this eye now to try and look for a way where I go fit make and look better than how it is. So I just they turn on and off my professional editing to you and then I then move in move out but since to see the one will be giving the best result. So if I don't see the one, we go pay on the brush of the man. I have to leave it that way. So what I just do now, just normal point pulling. So you go just continue to the pull point. Pull it. 
So now, make sure so you set your cursor to, to the uh, uh, geometry and then press shift S and say cursor toward origin. And when the cursor don't do the origin, go press, uh, go select the eye, press right click and choose uh, uh, set cursor to set origin toward cursor. And after you don't do that, you go to go to modifier and add mirror modifier. The moment you add mirror modifier, you go see the high go go, go mirror to the other side perfectly to the socket, the high socket of your character. So now like that we will make eye in Blender. So in the next tutorial, I think we go to be I think we never add um, teeth to our character, but to be like say you know the necessary because we never intend to make our character talk, but just the look. So every time we won't do, we won't make our character make talk. Then we go need the teeth because every character must have teeth and other things so thank you again for watching my tutorial and i'll see you around in another so very good thanks for watching bye bye